Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my let's play the game known as Beyond All Reason Ball Episode Two. Alrighty then, uh, we're going to do a AI battle today. That big one I tried to do, I'm going to take a look at. It probably go a couple episodes, then I'm going to get to actually playing one on ones. But before I do that, I quickly my voice probably going to be a bit different. I'm muting my computer temporarily. Uh, on my channel again, I have uh, more advice from Tarnished Knight. Oh, well, that's me. That's up and. Somebody call again. I'm going to put your name. I apologize, Martin Jin. Oh, I just realized my fans. I'll just turn that off. I'll get on the mic too. Let me turn that off. Sorry about that. It's really hot in here. Uh, Martin Jin Hoppen. I apologize. I completely butchering your name here. But basically, he's added something what I can do in games. We're going to do that right now. It says, he said, also adding more camera smoothness can help a lot with streaming bar properly. Check the in game settings, not in lobby, under the tab control and FE. Increase smoothness of camera to 0.75 to e or even 1.0. Last tip will be to use control F3 camera mode, which is a lot smoother. So, I, we can test that while we actually have this AI game going on. He says it has, it's not in lobby, so. What he's saying, it's not under this stuff. See, it's not under that, it's basically in the main game. So let's do single player. Let's do skirmishes. Alrighty then. So we are going to kick, 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 and kick. Basically, the, 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 the game I tried to get set up for, it might take a look at, and you see little clips of it. We're going to re redo that one. So, two, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's going to be spectator, so that's me gone. And I'm going to add. I believe this is the best AI in the game, barbaric, 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 barbaric. And then it was really cool seeing these uh, raptors in it. I think it was this one. PVK, yeah. Uh, with two blues. Okay, I'll change one of these to faction to a blue. Uh, blue's that one, I believe. Yep. So we, so we have, they're all every man for himself, except for the scavenger now, so can I, can I make them red? Did I do it wrong? I did that wrong, didn't I? I thought they should be red. Um, kick. Oh, took the team away. The PV game mode, which increased difficult ways of scavenger AI. Oh, it's that one I wanted, so that's a different one, okay. Oh, scavenger AI. Controlled units attacking the player. Is that a different thing as well as Raptors? Okay, we're gonna add one more team to see what the scavenger thing is. I don't know what the, these are, so I don't I don't know what they are. So I didn't have them in it before. Okay, um, I might change the map this time round, so it's not the same map. You know, with them little updates. Last time I went for a big size, bit well, big ish, because obviously these are the biggest ones. But I felt that map looks very bland. That could be interesting, maybe. It's actually bigger than I had it on. So if the game runs smoothly with this, uh, I believe it was that map I had it on. So 24 by 24. Mm, what else do we have? And these are good for the, uh, yeah teams. Just do a moon. Maybe we should try this. It's actually a bigger map too. So if it works well on this, fingers crossed. Okay, so let's start. I'm spectating. So this, I'm going to do 15 minute episodes, but I just realized I'm not even timing. I'm really organized today. Uh, it's probably down, yeah, it's downloading the map now. Okay. So let me go to my clock a minute. Do, 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 Boom. So it's probably going to be slightly over 15 minutes. And you know what? We're, uh, yeah, I was going to say, apparently cut back. I've got no way to, to, to work out where this is, but it will be back. I'm going to wait till this is done. So apparently we'll be back in a minute, people. Okay, back. It seems that it's done, so let's hit start. So like I said, uh, uh, this is probably going to take a couple episodes to get through this game. So I think it took roughly 40 minutes last time. I've been doing 15-ish minutes episodes. And I say ish, because this one might be slightly longer. Um, it's roughly going to be, what, 15, 30, 40, 45? So roughly three episodes. And then I will get to doing single player and trying to learn the game and skirmishes. I also want to do this type of game, because I feel, A, it gets to show the game off of its potential. Like if you're playing single player AI, you really see the potential of it going. Two, I get to see the units in action a little bit. So I can hopefully pick a few tips up from the AI. 
<laughs> so to speak, and I just and, and I'm, instead of me focusing on like what, what's this do, what's this do, what's this do, and the eye just molds me down. Okay, I cut away while it's loading, we're back again. Scavenge active in this region, so what does that mean? And survive and build up a strong base and army to fight scavenger forces. You need to reach 100% boss anger in order to start the final phase. Boss anger? Massive assault. You eventually need to destroy the local scavenger epic commander. Wow. That's what scavengers are. I didn't have them last time. Huh. Drop into the start zone and not attack until the end of the grace period. Five minutes. Okay, so five minutes of grace period. By default, orbital drops will spawn scavenger beacons both in the start box and areas with no radar coverage or line of sight. Scavenger res bots will roam the battlefield and resurrect you wreckages. So, so, so basically, you have the base reverse AI, you have this thing with the raptors as another game mode, and this scavenger like boss mode, this is pretty cool. And I, I haven't seen this before, so we'll finish with this because you see they're all started building up already. And then I'll also change the settings like he suggested in a sec. Their strength will dynamically grow or shrink depending on your actions. Aggression, keep growing your base, economy, and army to reach the end. Random events, extra strong units appear once in a while. <laughs> what? Man of, uh, malfunctions can stop all scavengers for a period of 20 to 40 seconds. Rebellion of a small group of scavengers joining other teams. Useful tips. It's why should you generate as much overlapping radar coverage as possible to prevent spawn beacons from dropping close to your base. Hunt down and destroy spawn beacons to reduce the number of scavengers that will drop. Try and capture scavenger resources generators and transport them back to the safety of your base. Did you, do they generate a lot of resources. Try and capture scavenger printers. They offer you a small selection of scavenger units to build, including T4 super experimental units. Scavenger storage buildings can leave very rich metal deposits, which can contain up to 10,000, well, 10k. Metal reclaim then, make sure you have a strong anti-air and... Wow! Why did he appear? I guess I need to write that. So... Okay, we'll do his settings in a sec. Let's just have a look at them quickly. So yeah, so that's pretty quite cool. So I can tr after these few episodes are done, I will start trying to do individual against skirmishes once I feel I'm okay-ish. We might do this against the raptors and the scavenger AI. Okay, so let, let me do his stuff, what he said. Okay, so where was it? Also adding not more camera smoothness, bar, check the game settings. So this will pause the game anyway, boom. Or not. I thought it pauses when I go into that. Apparently not. Maybe because I'm, I'm not. Maybe because I'm not playing. That's why it doesn't pause. Probably makes sense. Uh, where did he say it was? Uh, going to no. That's my stuff. Uh, tab control. So the control tab. And F E increase smoothness of camera from 075 to one point zero. Smoothness of camera. Uh, camera overhead shake smoothness. And it's on 18, it looks like, and he said between 75 and 1. Well, I, I guess we'll go for 75. We'll go with that. And he also said Control and F3 camera is the better one. I'm assuming we're on F3. What, are we on F3? Well, we are on F3 now. So apparently this is the better one. And I think he also said about using the middle button like this. Okay, so hopefully this records well. And hopefully you enjoy this AI battle. And if you're new to the game, this is really going to show you what the, what the game can do. If you, and what and stuff. If you're not new to the game, then yeah, you're probably like this is boring, and I apologise. <laughs> but maybe you're someone who just does online and don't really use the AI, so you might get some kick out of it then for that anyway. Like I said, this is probably going to take about three episodes, and then I'm going to meet actually start playing again <laughs> and get into the game properly. So we have okay. Let can move this over. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's another thing. Okay. Okay. So it's got a grace period for the raptors. I believe this is them. It was 44 seconds. 40, yeah, it's the same, looks like. And for the scavengers. Okay, so let's have a look at them. So we have the greens. Like they've got tiny, tiny islands. This may not go well for them at all. They need a lot of sea. Dragon Slayer. It looks like blues are spanning the most. Or I would say they may be. What's he doing? Obviously, every grace period was going to end in a minute, and he's going to stop here. And remember, these are all every man for himself too, so they could fight each other just as much. So everyone's like building up. 
I think we've got a little skirmish going on here, actually. Oh, yeah, we got a little skirmish going on here, people. And even though he said this is the best way to play, and I probably... Are dropping units in our area. Is it this? No, I think that's the... The raptors. There we go, here's some raptors. I don't know where the scavengers are yet. I was going to say, even though he says keep it on this for playing, what I probably will, for this game, I might go into the first person when it gets a bit more heated and stuff. So I think it's really cool they can do that. When I'm playing, I probably won't be able to do that as often. Like, like look at these. If I, if I can click one. There. There we can see the swarmers. Basic raptors. And these get bigger and bigger as he gets, she gets angrier. I don't know what scavengers look like yet, other than the album dropping. And they also get like like healer ones. Uh oh, the commanders <laughs> Red's commander could get killed straight away. Uh oh, he, he he's got caught out by him. Well, they're kind of ignoring him with the pod shot. Okay, don't get our attention. You're gonna be out of the game straight away. Oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, Red's. I think Red's gonna be uh, eliminated it's straight away, people. Okay, we're about to see a nuke. Bye bye, Reds. He, he's got a lot quicker. When the, the one I did for my take a look at, I couldn't show you because it messed up. He, Reds were second to were second to the end. They're already gone. Wow. Wow. He got caught out in his own. Oh, cool. That's like a lie down version of him when he's dead. That's neat. I've never seen that before. Oh, it's a. Oh, rest in peace. R.I.P. <laughs> when the commander died. That's cool. That's cool. Hopefully they don't just wipe all the commanders out straight away. Because <laughs> I said it was about 40 odd minutes and it was really epic. But I think it was on a completely different map. This map might not be very good for it. And, and again, they're going to get scavengers on them too. Where? What is scavenger like? Is it that? Yellow? Is that a scavenger? What is that? Or is that just a green? That's just a green, isn't it? I have no clue what scavengers look like. Are these scavengers? Shanks, teeth, shocks. Scavenger malfunctions detected. Okay, I'll go from up here. I do not know what the scavengers look like. Obviously, this is the raptors. Can you tell what they are? Let me just. No, I can't. So the red is gone from here. One, two, three, four, five. I still don't really know what scavengers are. Apparently it's 138 of them on there, aren't they? Six beacons. Well, that's all this is to do with them. Are this scavenger stuff? It could be. Because it's all grey. I guess I, I need to look. Yeah, how, how much there is? It must be scavengers. Must, not it? Floating multi weapon platform. Because I don't think we have grey as one of the AI, do we? Well, they're all AI, but you know what I'm saying. Let me put. Oh, got a fight here going on. Scav Falcon. Scav for scavenger, or is that just the name of that unit? Getting a little bit of lag here, but this is a bigger map than I did before. And obviously, if I'm lagging, and that means the recorder's lagging, but that's a bit okay. It's when I'm not lagging one single bit, and the recording looks like basically rubbish. And it's lagging like hell, that's when it's bad. As you can see, the frame rate there. Wow. This map is tanking my frame rate. But again, I'm not been doing this that often, am I? So. And this is actually technically a bigger map with an extra unit with the scavengers being involved. It's also showing me with the system a little bit, isn't it? With my system, like, smaller maps are better for me. But, like I say, when I start doing individual skirmishes, or maybe two or three of these ones, so I will be on smaller maps. So, hopefully, enjoy this big map. Probably the last time we see one like this. We got any interaction over here? Oh, yep. 
and they dealt with that. Because it, because you see when they died, they leave eggs. I don't know if they, because I've seen them when the other game collect them. I don't know if they leave them if they spawn into these uh, burrows or not. What it means with this? Oh, they just get resources by collecting them. Because I think there's a timer on them. Oh yeah, yeah, look, metal and energy. Yeah, metal and energy for collecting them. But I don't know if they'll leave them too long if they'll get turned to a burrow or something. What's going on down here? Oh, here we go. Oh, lovely job, boy. Yeah, I... Oh, God. Yeah, I guess when it's got scav, that scavenger, so grazy scavengers. So the scavengers are fighting raptors too. Cool. So that could actually technically help them. It's literally everyone from self scavengers versus raptors versus all the individual AIs. And so far, he's one gone red, right? We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, there's more gone. One, two, three, four, five. We've got colours missing. Pink's there. Green's up there. Blue's there. Oh, maybe second AI went out. We missed it. Wow. Alert. Scavenger malfunction detected. What does that mean when it malfunction? Did it stop working temporarily so it gives them a chance to kill them? Oh, he's got three stars. Does that mean they rank up in this too? Oh, yeah. He wasn't moving, but that could have been the end. Just tell him to, but malfunction music, I might just stop working temporarily. I like that too when you click on them, you see it gives you the, the line where they've the, 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 the told them to go. Is that a bigger raptor? Let's do a swarmer. We're only 19% right now. I think they got to about 50 or 60% when they won the, the AI the, the, the bit last time, so... These scavengers may help that, it could be quicker or hurt that. There we go, fighting back, boom, 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 beautiful. See, there's an eggy. Plus, this is actually, because there's a lot more water in this map than when I did it, when I take a look at that, it obviously got corrupted. Well, not corrupted, but you saw how bad the footage was. Um, they had more land to work on, so this is making this more of a naval thing too for them. What's going on there? The pink just. You doing, boy? I think I'm going to change the camera to F1 for a little bit. And we can perhaps. Oh god, that's really tanking the frame rate. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. It's seeing more of the map, isn't it? Because of that. Oh, that's cool. I didn't like the way that works on land, but underwater, that's actually cool. I feel that this is the more epic when you have them flying around, but that's later in the game if they make it that far. Yeah, 12 frames now. Ooh. Let me. See if there's a lot going on here. There we go. Yeah, I think I know from now on, do not go to these big, big maps. Or at least don't, or at least don't have the Raptors and Scavengers at the same time. Because remember when I had it slightly... Was it bigger than this? Small? I can't remember. But I didn't have the scavengers in it too. That's probably is tanking the frames more. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I like the fact you can go to like the first person and look at the battles like this. It's cool. Gives you a bit of the height of them too because of it. Oh, lovely job, boy. There's two swarmers, it looks like. Yep, swarmers. They are fighting. Shark to a dolphin. <laughs> so these ships are practically called dolphins. Uh, fast assault co corvettes. Okay. Twenty-six percent T two starts and okay. Boss Anger, 291. 
there's a lot more scavengers on it than the thingy. So yeah, I think the scavengers are tanking the FPS a lot more. Well, I said I had no clue what a scavenger was. I, I didn't try them what, whatsoever when I was doing my take a look at. So I've learned something, and and I think individually, do me versus scavenger at some point in the series would be cool. Me versus raptor at some point would be cool. Maybe me from an AI teaming versus them. <laughs> Guy's gonna go boom boom in there. He's a naval what is he? Oh dolphin again. Oh different reinforcements. Okay, that's gonna be so smart because the reinforcement showed up. Seekers, okay. 62 raptors, wave 12. What's going on over here or anything? They go back to the um, F3 one that he suggested. Yeah, pretty much definitely a lot better. It's not by much, but again, I really think it's these scavengers tanking it. But it's not. As long as it's recording the way I'm seeing it, it's not unwatchable. That's for sure. Yet, <laughs> technically, we've lost an AI, but they're gonna get. Oh, well, here we go. Here's a big boy. Here's a brawler for you. Okay, I think to show. Oh God, a bunch of them. Okay, we need, we need to F1 these to give you a bit more of a. So you can try and see the height of these things. Try to turn the view around. Let's try to appreciate the size of them. Look at them. <sighs> Could not load object, whatever that is. Again, remember it's an alpha game. I have to stretch that. It's not finished. So it's going to have little bugs on that. I don't know specifically what that bug means. Something is not loaded. A texture or something. Like, it, like he's got footprints. That's cool. It could mean like, obviously they have loaded, but it could be like a footprint hasn't loaded, or texture one of these hasn't loaded, I don't know. But it doesn't seem to, they've had a footprint change. Destroy the game. It will make me crash, that's fine. It's like definitely hard to go around in first person. And again, the frames is, is yeah. So we're definitely not going to do such a big map in the future, and we're not going to have Scavenger and the Raptors together. Oh, sorry, yeah, controller free. Voila, there we go. It's better. Okay, do we have any battles going on? Oh, what's going on here? But I'm happy that as long as my recording is looking like this, that it's the game slowing down right now, not the recording. So. Because you saw last week how it recorded a lot better, and I haven't changed anything other than what he suggested once I got in the game. But you can see the FPS is a lot lower, probably because there's so much going on and the map's so much huger. Again, if you have any more tips to make the game run better, just in general, and still look good, appreciate it. But like later episodes, like I said, I'm trying to record a bunch today before Aurora gets up for the next three or four weeks, so. It'd probably be like episode 7, 8 or 9 or something I implement on perhaps. Maybe even later, I don't know. Here comes the big dude. I kind of don't want to say I'm trying to say big dude and kind of change it to guys like big dude. <laughs> oh, beautiful. One, two, three. Oh, the AI is going down. We're only three left. This actually might end this episode. I was just thinking that we're at 21 minutes. I wasn't going to go this far. Eh, we're going to have a few minutes. Screw it. This might actually end. Next episode, I'll just be doing individuals then. I liked it when it really got with the flyers. What I, the way this going with the scavenger? I don't think it's going to. If this does end in the next five minutes, I think I might do one more of these with the AI before I get to the thingy, and just take the scavengers out, do a smaller map. And just have these so you actually see the fi the flyers going at it. Because I don't think we're going to see them. Plus it'd be, it's so much cooler when the FPS is faster. Maybe even do a, make it change up a bit. Have three AIs versus the scavengers and... Have them. There we go with flyers but not... It's not them type I wanted. Uh, and have them team against them. Just focus on them. 
then they might just wipe them, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna control F1. Mm. I don't have, this is plane, so it's still that self is too cool. But with the actual flyers going around, it's even cooler. You saw a little bit on my episode one when I showed you some of the how it's worked in the end well and then how it didn't work. Go for him. Oh god, the tree got hit. Bye bye, tree. <laughs> yeah, FPS definitely looks 10 frames. Ah! I do that. Ready to go up. <laughs> We're not seeing the action then. How's the greens? There's, there's a chunk in there. Ooh. So we're making a lot of tidal generators, it seems. A lot of eggs, a lot of battles are going on here. The pink seem to be left alone right now. The purple seem to be the most in trouble. Look at all this. And it's got like this like uh, creep, like you know, like Zergs have. What's cool, spreading out. 538 scavengers. Like, they're not really coming into it much out of this scavenger thing, but I think they are tanking the stuff. 44% anger. Raptors 159, you know, they do have 547 other things. I wonder if the air goes out if the scavenger raptor will just keep fighting if the game will be over. You know what? I think we should stop this episode here and continue next, next week. This is probably going to take another 10 minutes, at least 15 minutes. So with that being said, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Let's continue this game. Bye, everybody!